Yeah, you like Krill Bill? It's like Krillin, but with Bill at the end because you're my brother-in-law. Oh, that's actually clever. I like that. Okay. I didn't ask. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hey gang, it's me, Krillin. If you're like me, sometimes life just gets you down. Head on over to www.dragonballz-toys.com and you can buy your very own set of Dragon Balls, like this. Wow, look at those. Aren't those a great set of Dragon Balls? I'd like to have a copy for myself. So don't waste any time. Get some for yourself. But wait, there's more. Use the discount code BOOTUBE10% at checkout to save yourself 10% on your purchase. This is a limited time deal. Thanks so much. And let's get back to the video. Hey gang, it's Krillin and you're watching BooTube. Thanks for tuning in. If you like Boo's videos, smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Follow us on Twitter too. Twitter.com slash BooTube underscore YT. Today, we're continuing everyone's favorite series, Candid Krillin. And our special guest is Android 17. Yeah, I got my brother-in-law to join the channel. Huh, isn't that great? <laughs> Say hello, 17. Hello, 17. You know what? Your sister just made the exact same joke in my last video. You guys are really two peas in a pod, I'm telling you. I'm so glad that you think that. Uh, so, uh, let's get started, why don't we? Um. Uh, first question, how have you been, Seventeen? What have you been up to recently? Other than being an MVP in a multi-universal tournament, I've been doing really well, Krillin. I've been maintaining my island. I've been looking over Trunks and Goten. And lately, I actually just got that yacht from Bulma that I really, really wanted. Wow, great news! Uh, and, and I don't know if I've mentioned it, but uh, great job in the tournament. I'm really grateful. Uh, if not for you, uh, who knows how that would have gone. So, you know, props to you. Yeah, we could have had you left. <laughs> we would have been doomed. I'm aware. So, uh, how about that yacht? Tell me something about yacht life. Well, it's a little different from regular land, but once you get your sea legs, it's all smooth sailing, Krillin. That's not a pun. Oh, okay. <laughs> smooth sailing. So, uh, what do you do on a yacht every day? I look at the ocean and I wonder, how did I get so lucky? I went from causing destruction to sipping orange juice watching the shore. I couldn't be more thankful. You don't say. Uh, actually, I was gonna ask you something about that. What What do you think about uh, having such a dramatic change in your life, you know? How, how does it make you feel to once being the deadliest force on the planet to being an incredibly benevolent person who saved the entire multiverse. That's because I saved the multiverse. Don't think that you're quite safe, Krillin. Uh, I'm kidding. Okay, if you say so. I do. But to answer your question, ever since I did win that tournament, a lot of people won't say that I did, but I know I did. I've just been thinking about how life used to be. Dr. Giro took some of my memory away, some of the non-important stuff, but what I do remember is loving animals, and I still do love animals today. That's a really great quality. Um, uh, you know, when I, when I heard that you had become a park ranger, I thought, what an interesting turn of events. That's a pretty cool career choice. And uh, how's that going for you so far? We haven't had any poaching incidents since I first joined. Mostly because I can dispatch anybody that comes in. So it's it's all quiet on the island front, so you say. As quiet as can be, Krillin. As quiet as can be. Well, that's good to hear. Must be very peaceful. Can you give us a rundown on your uh, daily routine as a park ranger? Well, I get up at about 8 a.m. Uh, my morning routine is I go check on the Minotaur first thing in the morning because... As you know, that's probably our most prized animal. Next thing I do is I scout for fecal matter. Okay. I know you don't have a nose, but if you did, you would not like the smell. All right, now that's just unfair. I smell things just as good as everybody else does. There was that one time with with uh, that that fight in in the tournament that a long time ago, but we don't we don't mention that. I can smell things. Mm. 
you say so, Baldy. Oh, so, uh, how, how's the family? Um, what are your wife and kids up to? Right now, they're kind of embarrassed that I'm doing this interview with you, but if I were to be honest, I would tell them I love my family, no matter how short or uncharismatic they are. Oh, okay. Let me, let me change the subject real quick. Um, you, you, you touched on this a moment ago, but let me revisit this. What's it like to be an android, and how do you feel about that? Well, the way I come across it is that's not too different from being human. I do have to go to AutoZone a little bit more than the average person. Okay. Get yourself a tune-up. I also don't have to use the restroom like you people. Well, that's convenient. Have you ever considered finding the Dragon Balls and wishing yourself human? Have you ever considered finding the Dragon Balls and growing out some hair? I am not bald by genetics. I'm bald by choice. It's a martial artist decision. I have plenty of hair. Thank you very much. And my wife let me shave it off for my the tournament. Sister. Yeah, she told me about that. She said that you looked real cool, but I still don't see it. Well, let's just call that a difference of opinion and, and leave it at that. <laughs> so, uh, can you give us some insight on why you decided against being a, a, a destructive force and uh, switch sides? I like to think I'm a rebel. If you think about it, most of the former bad guys, they would go right back to evil, but not me. I just say, hey, come to my island, and then I smile, because I'm not evil. Good to hear. The way I understood it, Jiro just programmed you guys to go after Goku, and once that was no longer an issue, there really wasn't any particular reason to be chaotic and destructive. So, uh, you know, maybe that has something to do with it, but I like your explanation. Just, you know, subverting expectations. Very cool. If I were to be completely honest, Krillin, I would never tell you this in front of 18, but the real reason why I wanted to become a good guy is because it feels like there are no good guys left anymore. You have all your martial artists and things like that, but they just want to fight. They don't want to do anything good, but I want to do good things. Well, that's nice to hear. I'm glad you were willing to share that with me and, and everyone at home. Maybe 18 won't watch this episode and, and she won't hear it. <laughs> we can only hope. Uh, so let me ask you a different kind of question. Everyone at home is really curious to learn how you became so strong so quickly. You are toe-to-toe -to -toe with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And that's just, that just, that boggles the mind. I'm here to tell you. How did you manage such an incredible feat? Well, I didn't have to dye my hair, that's for sure. <laughs> Shots fired! Do you have any kind of special training regimen that you like to do on the island? We already talked about shoveling poop, didn't we? <laughs> Get them gains! What's it like having an infinite energy engine in your system making you completely tireless? That's gotta be fun or something. My infinite energy engine was developed by the Red Ribbon Army, and I use it to the fullest extent that I can. That's how I'm able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Blue Goku and Jiren. I sap up a little bit of their energy as they transform. As far as functionality, it's better than a Tesla. Ha! Ah! Was not expecting this episode to have so many one-liners. Goodness! You need to have your own stand-up. and You're gonna give Cell some competition. Cell was never funny. There are a lot of like-minded people out there. Um, let me ask you one more question before we wrap this up. Do you have any plans for uh, 2021 that you'd like to share with everyone? My plan for 2021 is to hopefully not go into another multi-universal tournament. So I could just stay home, look after my animals, make sure you aren't doing anything dumb. Oh, I see. Well, thanks for that, I guess. Uh, sounds like a, a nice year, and uh, on your island, you're probably going to be safe from all of that nasty pandemic stuff. What pandemic? Oh, that's right. You probably haven't heard about it. Lucky you! <laughs> In any event, uh, this video has already gone pretty long. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you so much for uh, joining us on Candid Krillin. It's been great having you around the house, and you should totally drop by sometime, and we can have a family dinner. Marin misses her uncle. I'll tell you what, Krillin. I really miss 18 and Marin. Ouch! Okay, well, leave a comment below if you like this video, and tell me what was your favorite part, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, my heart 
Bye, Boo Beans! It's been a really good mark. It's been a... Actually, I'm sorry. Can we do that again? Bloopers are fine. There's gonna be a blooper reel. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I compute. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I picked the right guy. Well, I get up at about 8 a.m. I would get up earlier, but my engine thrusters are too amazing. <laughs> you can talk to Bulma about that. Maybe she'll help you out. <laughs> Maybe. And why is it. that uh, important? It's important because the ones that are already fertilized are fertilized. There doesn't need to be any extras. Is that because you don't eat? Because I can hold it in forever. <laughs> that can't be comfortable. I don't mind. You know, if I were to be... Sorry. If I were to be completely honest, Krillin, villains get recognized for the bad things that they do. Actually, I'm going to start that one over. Go ahead. Better idea. I got you, Krill Bill. I got you. What's a Krill Bill? <laughs> Please continue. Yeah, you like Krill Bill? It's like Krillin, but with Bill at the end because you're my brother-in-law. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's actually clever. I like that. Okay. I didn't ask. Uh, sorry. So what's the only other training I do? Oh, sorry. You go ahead. The only other training I do. Actually, I lost it. Fuck up. You can go ahead. You go ahead. So what's it like having an infinity? That's not all, folks. Elsewise, I don't know what would happen. My infinite energy engine is able to. In this one's a hard one. Question. I like this one. Um. Hmm. Infinite energy engine. How's that like? With the engine. And being able to absorb infinite energy, that's how I can also go to toe. With the infinite energy engine, that's how I'm able to go toe to toe with the likes of Blue Goku and Jiren. Because I sap out a little bit of their energy. Because I... S <laughs> that one's hard too. Yacht, island, family. <laughs> another island and another family. Oh no! <laughs> I meant more of what he's you know, got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Krillin, the only thing I really want for 2021 to not have any more androids go after 21 because I'm very tired of looking after androids after 21. I think I get it. That's a puzzler, but I like it. <laughs> no more androids after 21. <laughs>